Welcome to I've Had Worse. Today I'm reviewing Hatherwood's original bitter. Hatherwood is Lidl's own brand. Um, so this is a 3.6, comes in a stonking 500ml can. Um, mm. And I think it's um, it's three for, um, uh, three for, 360 for four is what I was trying to say. Can't even speak today, which works out at 90p a can. It's been a long day. But that is in Wales. It's, so ah, it might be cheaper in England. Yes, because in Wales we have the minimum pricing unit. So, uh, yeah, do drop it in the comments below. Um, be really interested to know. Not much on the can as to tell me where it's brewed, if anything. Um, just brewed for a little. Um, mm, suitable for vegetarians and vegans, which is nice, because they may be able to be disappointed with the rest of us. I am being cruel. Let's get this open. So I am thinking, given the AVB, are we along the lines of uh, John Smith's and Tetley's, those type of things? Um, expecting quite a light beer, um, not much flavour, quite fizzy, quite pop-like. Quite pale as well. And as you'd come to expect, the usual atrocious Look, I just wanted to show you this magnificent creamy head. One day, one day I'll, I'll do a decent pour. Okay, so what do we have here? We have quite a pale chestnut, light chestnut. Yeah. 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 Um, Toffee. <laughs> Toffee-ish. Yeah. I'm not arguing. Pale. Not arguing. Okay. So, despite my atrocious pouring, that head is staying around and is half decent. Let's give it a sniff. So white pepper is a metallic, quite yeasty, if I'm honest, quite an inviting aroma. Okay, enough waffling, Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. So not a bad mouthfeel. I was expecting a rush of carbonation in it to be overly fizzy, but it's not too bad. There's a malt there, but it is so subtle. It's got a good go. Not a big flavour at all. Okay, very, very subtle malt. Faintest bit of biscuit on the back. And not a great deal else. So from that respect, it is very much like John Smith's and Tetley's, um, which I think I, I, I drunk those as a kid. And when I did the video, and I shall post some links, um, I was really sort of shocked um, uh, at the quality, um, given that the fact that they are incredibly popular, but also of the lack of taste. And I'm wondering, you know, as you grow up, your palate changes. Um, but uh, this is very... Meh. Yeah, I have to say, um, it's almost like drinking fresh air. Um, it, it means not bad. It's just, it's just nothing. That flavour could be m much, much... Um, I mean, for this AVB, I've, I've had much more flavourful beers. Mm. Okay, so um, over to you guys. Have you tried it? Uh, what did you think of it? I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping just, you know, I wasn't expecting great guns, but I was expecting a little bit better uh, flavour or more developed flavour. Um, as I said, my dad used to talk about, um, God bless his cotton socks, he used to talk about gardening beers, which was a very light beer which we would have while I was doing the gardening, and he could still plant, uh, plant a straight row. Um, and I think he would class this, I think he would have enjoyed this. He wasn't one for big flavours. Mm, okay, let me know what you think. For the price, is it worth it? 500ml cans, 90p. 
Okay, so what would I have else? I would have, what else is around that price that's similar AVB and a better beer? Banks's. Yeah, Banks's. Banks's original and Banks's gold nail. Um, not heavy hitters um, and better than this. Man's. Uh, Man's 2.8 brown ales, yes, very yeah. subtle. Yeah. About, a, about a pound at a can. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, let me know what you think. Uh, hit or miss? Have you tried it? Did you like it? Um, is there another? I think I've done most things. Is there another supermarket own brand bitter uh, that you think I should give a go? Okay, I am going to finish this and contemplate my decision. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>